Hello around these are the Silent Brothers and today we'll be checking out The Dark Knight Manual which is a book that is in a comic. It's not what we're used to doing normally but it is a book that has content related to the Christopher Nolan trilogy, the Batman trilogy, so we it's something that we picked up at a bar, Barnes & Noble and we liked it very much and we would like to show it off for everyone. I'll get in, in a little bit I'll explain what it has inside. But first, as you guys can see, it's a nice hardcover book that um, due to its size, it could be a coffee table book, maybe. Uh, something that's a nice item to have around the house if you're a Batman fan, especially if you're a Batman of, uh, if you're a fan of Christopher Nolan and the movies themselves. What this book has, it's, it's like following the instruction of Wayne Manor, Bruce Wayne be began to assemble key sketches, diagrams, observations, and top secret documents that pertain to becoming Batman. And he entrusts this manual to Alfred, and uh, every defining moment is de de detailed here, charting Wayne's collaboration with Lucius Fox at Wayne Enterprises, and the uh, latest cutting edge technology that he uses. It's like a, a vintage cover design that includes removal documents, and uh, the design of the of the utility belt, the high-tech functions of, of Batman's suit, and every detail of all the arsenal and weapons he uses in the movie. It's basically how Bruce Wayne operates as Batman. So, uh, let's get right into it. See, it's a sketch right there, very nice. There are a man on this, the, your DC and Warner Brothers logos. And contents as training, base of operations, the bat suit, dark arsenal, vehicles, profiles. So as you can see, this is very nice. This uh, case file, City of Gotham Police Department. Well, this is kind of like like a case file, and it's on the Wayne murder. You can see the pictures from the first movie. If you go under, you can see the picture there, right here. See it happens, and this is the police report. It's all it's all very very real looking says case closed and everything as documents pertaining how the crime was committed like bullets cartridge etc things found on scene etc as you can see it's a file it says Wayne murder right here in pen this uh, from the Gotham Post from Wayne Bane from the in the scene from the third movie and then that was kind of like an intro and then we begin training and this is kind of how how Bruce trains to become Batman we see Ras here, Russell Ghoul and the Leo Shadow stuff. It's kind of, here it's like a little bit of a journal and some notes. You see notes from from the desk of Bruce Wayne and scenes from the movie and pictures. It's very nice, very nice detail. Base of operations, that's obviously the obviously the back cave. You see <laughs> we see the the from when Bruce went out with the whole Moscow well it's all it's all cutouts from his operations as Batman. Here we have the, the Bruce Wayne credential from Wayne Enterprises. That's, th these are the very nice details. And all of these you can remove, but I'm obviously gonna leave it there. Picture of Lucius Fox. This this kind of kind of like a journal where Bruce is explaining everything he's doing. Here, uh, this describes the cave. And right here we have like blueprints from the cave. I'm not gonna get it, get it all out right now, but as you can see, it's like a blueprint of the cave itself. It says the cave right here which is very cool, like this has this detail right here that you can just pull out and check out yourself. Definitely if you're a fan, check it out. These notes are like post-its, so you can see they, they are removable and everything, but that's very nice. It says the cave dimensions and etc. See, we have, we can see blueprints of the the suit itself, the pictures, and I, as, like, I, like I said, all this you see here is are like notes from Bruce himself. So pictures with dimensions, with dimensions from the the car from the movie and such. If I'm gonna move on, this is a note from from Lucius to Bruce. It's nice hand handwriting and everything. It's very cool detail. And this is everything from the base of operations. Then we go to the bat suit itself. Then we see the symbol, kind of like like Bruce sketching how the symbol was gonna play out and everything. This, this, all these things are very nice. And finally, he decides for this one. You can see. The red check right there. This is also very nice. And we have some stickers right here for you to put somewhere. We haven't decided where we're gonna put them yet, but 
it's definitely something we're gonna put somewhere. The bad signal, where are things explained? The bad suit itself, here we see. Stuff from the, the Applied Sciences divisions, which is, which is the division that Lucius Fox handles in the movies, we see. It's very nice. Showings from the, the suit itself. Very cool. Gonna be, well, obviously, Bruce Wayne. <clears throat> pre-suit everything so all the planning that goes on upgrades Kevlar etc etc see the picture is very nice like I said this would be a very nice book to have on a coffee table it's a, it would be a great conversation start starter for a Batman fan to have at home I'm just gonna show it off real quick now we move on to the arsenal the weapons themselves here we see the weapon rack with all the gadgets the the batarangs the the belts all the different guns that Batman uses, non-lethal obviously. Get the utility belt, the guns into detail, how it goes on, what gadgets it has, what it doesn't have, etc. I'm gonna show it off real quick. And these are very nice like booklets from the Applied Sciences. Has the project name, like internal product number, internal internal project number, sorry, contract number, and it's all very very serious looking and and if you see it. Like, if someone had no idea what Batman was or what the movies hadn't uh, pertaining to content, they would probably believe that this was something real, you know? Because it, it looks all so, so professional and serious. The EMP device that he uses in the third movie when Batman makes his first appearance after coming back. Then we, then we move on to vehicles. We see the Tumblr, which is the car. That's very nice. I heard that you can actually get this in real life, a working car which is very nice it obviously costs a lot of money and probably not everybody will be able to get it but there's that yeah here the same same thing has the project name uh, project number and it's a third serial number and it has you know definition of what, what everything does in the car itself here's a picture from the cabin from the cockpit sorry and also the bike the Tum thunder escape pod which is the bike that we see in the third movie after what happens to it in the second one. If you saw the movies, you know. And there's, there's the bat, which is the flying the flying one, which is also very nice. Here you have, like I said, when you see something like this in the book, you see, you know, you have like the blueprint stuff. I'm not gonna pull it out and get into it right now, but this from the from the vehicles themselves, all the, the blueprint voice. And this is very nice, these are the pro profiles. Here you have some some stickers from all the, all the agencies in, in Gotham, the the police department, the fire department, the SWAT team, etc. Whoops. I don't know, here you have some more stickers, it's sticking to the page. But there's that. Here you have a, a profile on James Gordon. You have you know his picture, date of birth, position, years as a policeman, degrees, etc. His degrees, a, a copy of his degree and pictures, here you have the Harvey Dent one uh, something for the Harvey Dent uh, with some stickers, if you want from the from his campaign, it's a DA here you have some pictures and you can see the picture after the incident happened this is the emergency room intake from when the incident happened he has his file, all very real looking profile on Two-Face profile on Rachel Dawes, you know, which is uh, Batman's love interest in this particular movie. Uh, profile on Carmen Falcone, the mobster, John Blake, the policeman, Miranda Tate, you know, if you saw movies, you know who all these people are. Jonathan Crane, Scarecrow, you know, property of Arkham Asylum. Here you have the Arkham Asylum profile on the whole thing. And this is the layout for Arkham Asylum itself, which is very nice. It's very nice, so very real looking. Finally, you have, yeah, you have the Scarecrow and finally you have the Joker and you have like a, like a classified file on him with some evidence and in the evidence it's very nice you can see the Joker cards that he hands out throughout the movie you have a picture of him if I can get to move you have the Gotham Police Department with the crimes identity possible motives and a whole psychoanalysis on him a little bit if you have the pictures of Heath Ledger as the Joker which had a brilliant performance which is very nice and then you have one on Bane, some a lot of data is unknown, obviously. 
but it's very nice. You know, you have some notes on the profile, also on Selena Kyle, who play, uh, who is Catwoman, and there are notes on her and everything on the arsenal and the costume, and uh, emails from me on the tape, the loser socks, and etc. And here, finally, you have a map of Gotham City, very in the style where GTA games have a, uh, a map of the city where the game takes place. So that's all for this book. Like I say, it's a very nice, a very nice book. It's worth checking out if you're a Batman fan, if you're a fan of the Christopher Nolan movies. And definitely be on the lookout for more stuff like this. We, besides doing comic, do stuff that we like, that we're interested in. So. Uh, that's all for today. This is Alessandro signing out and have a nice day.